Hey, my name is uh, Coach Ben, and this is just a quick tutorial on my workflow um, when I first started, get, got my Google Meet started with my kindergartner. So this is a Google Meet Kinder Rocket workflow, and so here's my basic workflow. Um, I like to generate my link in Google Calendar. There's a few other ways you can do it. I like to generate it, number one, in my Google Calendar because it kind of saves it there. That's the biggest reason. Um, it's just I can keep going back to it. Uh, there are some more secure ways to it if you don't want kids entering meets without you. I have not had a problem yet with my uh, kindergartners and I monitor it on a regular basis. It's nice having the same link um, all the time. Number two, I uh, copy that link and I just paste it in Seesaw and I paste it in uh, the inbox so the students can always kind of see it. And then uh, real important is communicate with the parents so, so uh, they know how to get it. And I have plenty of resources for you for that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go over here to my calendar. And literally, I'm just going to create an event. Now, um, my calendar, if you see, has this thing right here. It says add video conference. So I'm going to go ahead and call that. It's automatically going to add this link. And I'm going to go ahead and call this Ben's Google link and the, uh, for KR, KR's Kinder Rockets. Um, it doesn't matter what time it is. Sometimes I like to specifically, uh, you can just do the all day, um, but that's always something you can change a little bit later. And so literally it's as simple as that. So here I'm going to actually just drag this over here to Sunday. Um, it's already passed. And again, here is, here's this event if I'm going to make it an all day event. So it just hovers at the top. So here's my Google Meet uh event link and I can literally just uh, right click it and then copy the link address all right if I always want to test that I make sure I have it I hit command or control T to open a new tab control or command V to paste it and that just uh, ensures that again I have that uh, correct address to my link you can see it's working now of course always be cautious you don't see it right now but um, that your camera is, uh, is working if your camera is ever not working here's where you look see this lock up here I'm going to click on the lock and right here I can see camera, it's allowed. Microphone, it's allowed. So that's a very quick and easy way. If you messed up and your camera doesn't have access, just click on the lock up here and chalk on that. Anyways, I checked on my link. It's the good link. I want to make sure I have it. So now that I have my link, again, where is it? It's here in calendar, Ben's Google link. And I love it just because I can come up here and search and I can go Ben's Google link. Let's see what that pops up. And boom, here's Ben's Google link for Kinder Rockets and should say Google Meet, but that's okay. Then literally I just come over here, um, I add it, and you could do this every single time you want your students to meet if you want to, and then I just, or you could just keep it in there. You really have to know your own class. And so I could say, uh, join me, oops, join me here today at one o'clock exclamation point. And then I can paste it. Um, and then because this is CSOT, it automatically translated. So I could go like that. I could go to family members and students. There's no family members on this particular dem uh, demo class. And I click send. Right. And basically, my last step is communicating. But now all students are going to have to do is they're going to come here. They're, uh, they're going to, it'll be right here in their student announcements. It's right up here. It's the first thing they see. And they can click on that. And then they go to the Google Meet. Right. They're going to go ahead and hit join. Um, and then you can see the join. Um, just a few quick things down here. I have my uh, bar at the bottom. If that disappears, like sometimes all I have to do is just click on my screen and it will reappear. Um, again, I can toggle my microphone on and off. Uh, I can toggle my, uh, I can end it out of the meet. I can turn my camera on and off. Um, I can present now over here and I can present my entire screen or just a window. Okay. I have my three dots. I always check your three dots because there's lots of cool features over there. I'm not going to go on those right now, but just be aware of those. Um, up here, I can click on the person icon and that lets me see who's in the meet with the list over here. Um, and then I can chat as well. And those are the really, really basic, basic functions for that. I do have a few other things like this little grid thing as an extension and this little nod thing as an extension as well. I can also grab my meeting details from over here if I need to copy the joining information. Um, it's right here. All right, and so uh, Google Calendar attachments, pretty cool, right? And so this is just my Google Meet right here. This is how my students access it. Um, I, I greet them, I say hi to them, and I say at the end um, of our meeting, I say, all right, remember class that I'm gonna come in and check on this. This is where our class is, and this is how 
we do things as a Kinder Rocket. So hopefully that helps you again. That's just my Kinder Rocket uh, um, workflow again. Just as a quick review, I generate my link in calendar, right? And that way I just always have that link. I can always go back and find the link if I want to use the same link. If I don't, there's some other ways to do it. Um, Eric Kurtz, as I mentioned um, in my presentation, he has a great uh, YouTube videos. If you didn't see my presentation, go visit Eric Kurtz. Um, paste it in CSAR, whatever tool you're going to use. Google Classroom has some great integration features, but I work with kindergartners. And finally, communicate with parents. Make sure you're communicating with them as much as you can. Um, and uh, once you get them going that first time and get them into that routine, it's a lot easier. So hopefully that helps you show my workflow of Google Meet. Again, I'm Coach Ben. I'm signing off. Have a good night, a good day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.